For a father and son, building canoes is a family affair rooted in history. Over the course of 10 days, the Okmulgee Mounds National Historical Park is hosting the Seminole Tribe of Florida as they build a canoe from scratch. 41 NBC's Dijon Campbell spoke with the family about why they're choosing to build in Macon. After 10 days of hard work, a group of indigenous people are planning to have this log turn into a canoe, and they're inviting the public to view the entire process with high hopes that they'll see the history in the artwork. 10 days, a 17-foot log, and one trailer full of tools. Pedro Zapata of the Seminole Tribe of Florida is back at the Okamulgee Mounds National Historical Park for the second year, but the history of canoe building started centuries ago. It's a continuing tradition. We've never stopped making dugout canoes. Um, so we're not really, you know, trying to recreate history. We're just continuing the tradition of our fathers and grandfathers. A tradition Zapata is passing down to his son, who's taken part in canoe carving since he was a small child. I've been doing it since I was four. And how are you now? Yeah, I'm 12. The father-son duo will be building the canoe steps away from the park's visitor center, where Robin Barker greets thousands of people every year. And to have um, Native people come back into the park here and practice these traditional skills is, is really incredible. It's a great opportunity for the public to come out and view um, this operation and see how these things were crafted and uh, kind of see that in the, the Native landscape here is, is a pretty special thing. Now the canoe that Pedro helped carve out last year can be viewed here on site at the Okmulgee Mounds National Historic Parks Museum. And the one that's carved out this year will be donated to the city of Macon. Reporting in Macon, Dejan Campbell, 41 NBC News. Now if you'd like to see the canoe building in person, they'll work on that each day through Wednesday, August 16th from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m.